Hey, good morning, guys. This is JPL here. I'm going to make a quick video responding to a comment on uh, someone uh, asking how to obtain a full roll of, uh, I have them right here. I don't want to name it properly here. A full roll of registered mail number labels. That's the exact term because there's also registered mail labels that don't have the number on them. So a lot of people mistakenly get those. I have an image of that, but here I'll share screen and I'll just I'll just start going over everything here. All right, I'm sharing screen here. Let's see here. Um, registered mail stickers are different images. You see? Right there. This is a registered mail sticker. This is a registered mail number labels. You know, you have to always say that word number. All right, that's that. Now, let me go through these images right here. So that's a, that's a full roll, full roll. Full roll. You know what I should have took a picture of is uh, how you keep this from like what you do is you cut a uh, you cut a, like a little piece of a post it a post it you know the sticky part of the post it you know just cut the glue part and just put it tape it right over make sure it's not super sticky that it's gonna damage the sticker that's what I do I would have had a image but I'm not turning on my camera right now because it's uh, it's like Sunday morning. But um, you, that's all you do. Or you take a little piece of tape, but a tape that does it, that's not very sticky. That's why I use the post-it tape. The post-its are not very sticky. I have I use the super sticky ones, but they won't damage it. And I'll push it on too much, you know? I'll put just push it on just enough. That's how this is is maintaining this structure. Like it's not like all loose and stuff. So that's what it is. And let's see what's next. Now I'm gonna go over that next. I'm gonna go over that later, just a sec. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, they're all in here, but I guess I didn't take, I forgot to take a picture of, uh, maybe it's here. Oh, here it is. All right, so basically here, what, what you wanna do is, cause otherwise you're gonna have to open that thing every time, that, what, what I did, once I'm ready, to like, like this week, I am registering all my documents. This is not all of them, but they're almost all of them. Let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Now let me go here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. I already know because th these two I haven't even done yet. These two, the 1040V and the 1040E. I'm registering those two. I don't care. What are they going to say? No, 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 no. They're not going to say nothing like that, man. Uh, you know, if they do, uh, you know, you'll be on the phone with them. As soon as they, as soon as you get confirmation, and then also what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on like the cover sheet when I send it to Puerto Rico. I'm going to do a Patrick. I'm going to pull a Patrick Divine process uh, the uh, processing terms on site. That means right away. It's like no delay on site, and I'll even write something like. Um, you know, uh, uh, you know, maybe I'll mention their oath of office, you know, get a copy of their oath of office, you know, uh, see oath of office of United States Treasury, um, you know, due process, like, you know, this is all procedure, like you're all, you're processing this, you know, in, in due process, you're processing this paperwork uh, with like the full honor of the law, you know, uh, so anyway, I'm going to go over this, but let me just see. What did I want to go over next from the registered mail numbers? Yeah, let's stick to that right now first, and then I'll go over that. Registered mail numbers. Now, how I did it is I went to my post office. Night, My regular post office is not like a main post office. It's a small little post office. And then I asked to see the uh, make an appointment. I walked in and I said, I'd like to make an appointment. Don't walk in at 12, one o'clock, two o'clock, right when everybody's having lunch because everybody's like, oh, they'll be all like, no, 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 no. They get, they're cranky. You know, I get cranky at lunchtime. At lunchtime, I don't want to, you know, like call me like three o'clock, call me at like 11 or something like that. But like from like 
when, if I decide to take lunch early or late and then I siesta that lunchtime, I go, I, I sleep, I eat, I sleep, and then I wake up, I'm brand new. And then, I, I, and as soon as I go into my bed and I, I cover my eyes, I, I start dreaming that because my pineal gland is, 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 is decalcified. It took me, it took me years to decalcify my brain from all the heavy metals I worked with, asbestos, lead, plastics, rubber. I, I melted them. I was a roofer. I, 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 you know that smell when they're doing the asphalt on the roads? I worked, I, that stuff is actually not that unhealthy. That's because it's almost like Sheila Jeet. If you have, if you ever heard of Sheila Jeet, it's a, it's like a petroleum-based black asphaltic uh, supplement that you take. That stuff is phenomenal. But the rubbers and the plastics and all that stuff damaged me. Why? Why did I get on that subject? Because I, um, oh, because I sleep and then immediately I see dreams because my pineal gland is 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 uh, decalcified. Yeah. Uh, you know, my neighbor, right, right next door. I talk to him sometimes. He keeps knocking on my door. He's like, yeah, man, we should hang out. So this guy is, oh, my God, he was in bad shape. He's taking all the pharmaceuticals. He is, uh, you know, like, I think he's got psychiatric, you know, psychological problems. Like, he goes to see a psychiatrist. I feel so bad for him. I always give him money. I give him five, ten bucks. I give him kombucha. I give, anything that I'm not coconut water. Whenever he comes over here, I always give him gifts. But he he tries to give me gifts and I decline anyway. So uh, and he told me he told me, yeah, man, I don't I haven't dreamed for a long time. I don't I don't dream. And I, it's because it's because of the water. It's because of the food. It's because of the chemtrails. Uh, I take, you know, usually daily activated charcoal, diatomaceous earth. That stuff will get all the new toxins, but the stuff that's already in there, man, that thing is in there like plaster, like plaster of Paris. That you know, like plaster of Paris on a wall is those um is the heavy metals on your pineal gland. So anyway, now um, so you don't go in there first thing in the morning. I mean, you don't go in there at lunchtime. You go in there early, and you're like, you know, I want to make an appointment to speak to the postman. If it's a big post, uh, a post uh, office, they're gonna be like, what? Oh, I'm just, you know, they're not gonna want to. But if it's a small post office, they'll do it. And then the postmaster will come if he's very uh, eager. You know, he's like, uh, oh yeah, you know, what do you need? That's how he did it to me. He's like, yeah, yeah, what do you need? Oh, yeah, I got time right now. And I was like, okay, well, I'd like to lay these documents out. May I have a table? You know, may, may, can I set up in a table uh, in, a, you know, in, uh, in the back? And it's like, yeah, sure, come. They open up the door for you and you just lay it out. You're like, I uh, am, uh, even if you're not, you know, like if, you know, even if you want to kind of do a little trick, you're like, uh, you know, I'm a box holder. That's it. You don't have to say I have a box here. You're like, you know, I'm a, I'm a box holder and I'm running, um, I'm operating my estate and trust uh you could even if you have a business you could say i'm operating my business there but you know let's stick to the to the theme of everything we're talking about here with the secured party predator process and the status correction so you you're going to tell them uh, yeah i'm operating my my suite uh, i should say my uh my estate and my trust uh through the uh, my, you know through my box number and i need a uh, i'm gonna i have uh 50 documents that I, that I have 50 important, you could even say official business uh, uh, in matters of national, American national security documents that I'm uh, filing with the United, like with the United States uh, Treasury, or you could say the United States of, of America, you know, um, and uh I, I have 50 documents that I'm that I'm filed uh, important government documents. That's what you could say. I have 50 important government documents that I um, will be uh, sending out registered mail return receipt that require a physical registered mail sticker. And uh, I was hoping to meet with you and introduce myself. Um, you know, in uh, because I'm going to be, uh, we're going to have many dealings, you know, in the next, uh, in the upcoming year, something like that. And um, I need a full role of, uh, or you don't even have to say a full role, but if you want a full role, I would love 
I would love to have a full roll of registered mail numbers. They're always going to have one. Um, not all, then you go to the next one. But if you do the next part that I'm going to say right now is you're going to look up where the large post offices are. So if you say that, and then, uh, you know, if he brings you one, if not, he may direct you. No, you know what you should try? Try the next post office over. Okay, that's that. Now, let me go to, okay. Then let me, I'm going to do this right off the cuff. cuff. You do USPS fast, right? Search USPS fast facility, open link. I already had it open and then basically I can't remember. So I am going to go to a video. I already made a video, but it doesn't have all the components to it. So let's watch. I thought I had it right there. What the fuck? Okay, we're gonna go to facilities because I mean, I could have just pressed it, but I, you know, so we're gonna go to facilities, open a new tab, register mail stickers. I went over, I'm X that out now. Facility profile, go okay, select one area district facility, not facility district, no area. Atlantic B area. Oh, look at this. No, I want to go district. Wait a second. Okay. Area ID state. What, what the hell? Area facility. Area district facility. All right. Let me just do that. Let me just do Atlantic B. Exclude delivery units, service hubs. I don't remember. I'm just going to go. Okay, I should have clicked open in a new window. All right, let me just uh, try anywhere. I'm gonna do, look at you, let's see if Washington DC is even in here. I'm just curious. Nah. Let me do Pennsylvania, I don't know. I just, Pennsylvania, PA. Okay, search by facility area, district, PA, view cities. Oh man. This is not how I did it. Let me go back over here. Then you go go. Then you can Let me do that. Whoops. Oops. I turned the weather on. Let's see what the weather is like. Nah, I'm gonna close it. Okay. I'm closing this out. Facilities. Go. District. Okay. Uh, let's do Maryland. I want to do some places new. Maryland 200. Are there many in Maryland? Maryland only has one. You see New York has got three. Pennsylvania has got one. Delaware, PA, you know, it's got two. Uh, Maryland only has one. All right, so let's just do Maryland and do a search, like a fresh search. Let me just do this right here because I want to. Oops, I can't open it up in a new tab. Maryland search. Okay, all right. I think there was some place where you could view a printable ver download into Excel. I think I did that. I did. I'm doing it. Okay, let me just open it up because it's easier. Oops, this, what the hell is going on here? Why did this come up? Freaking assholes. Again? The file and extension don't match the file could be corrupted or unsafe unless you trust the source do you want to open it anyway yes all right okay all right where were we again maryland what 
Washington. Oh, there's a city called Washington. Oh, Maryland. And DC. Name. Facility name. What is on Come on. Look at this. Enable editing. What the fuck? We're gonna have to wait. What did I do? I'm not doing nothing. Why is this thing going slow? No, because of the zoom, maybe. All right, man. We're just gonna go to this. You're gonna have to figure this out. We're gonna just go to this video because I explained it all in here. You're gonna find going. Right here. Look. This is, uh, I have all my videos numbered. You see that number 11 there? So you could, you know, it's inside of the file. Otherwise, you can go right here. And that video is pretty, pretty detailed. You just have to basically find the, uh, right here, mailing documents or anything without a stamp plus Puerto Rico USPS mailing plan. That's it. All you basically do is you go through this and then you find out where it says plant or you, you could just do a search where your um, where all the county offices are in your county, whatever county you're in, you find out where the county is. Then go on Google Maps, look at the post office and see if it's big. If it's a big one, if there's two or three near there, near there, but it's pretty easy. I mean, you know, you have to be like an investigative, you know, like secret agent to, uh, you know, to figure out all this information. It's simple, but you know, you want your documents and you want you want everything to go smooth. So you want to have a you want to have a roll or you want to have a bunch, whatever. And then that's where you're gonna mail from. But this video is very very informative. I guess I'm not doing a very good job of you know, um, or having much luck on finding, um, you know, like a, a big post office, but this video is helpful. Okay, so now let me go back to what I was, so where was I uh, to get this? I already explained, you talk to the postmaster. Now, if you go to a, here, I'll show you um, my post office. I already have this right here. I already, uh, I did this in another video. This is the post office, not my post office where I live, but I did, what? Yeah, yeah, this is it. Yep. See? The zoom is slowing it down, so there's like a delay, so it's messing me up. So this is the whole post. This is a big post office. Look at all those postal trucks here that they work. You know, they work here, and uh, this post office. That's another thing you could check and find the post offices that are 24 hours. 24. I should have right here. You go to this site. This is not like the USPS site. You go to post office out. If you find one that's got 24 hours, see, look, 12, the lobby hours to, for your post office box delivery, right? 12.01 a.m. middle of the night to 11.59 p.m. So that means it's there's two minutes that they're not open. They're open all day. They just did this, not to confuse it. Because if they put 12, AM, it gets confusing. So they put 1201. This is a 24 hour uh, post office box office. Okay. 
That's that. So you just have to go to this site and find the 24 hour one. Just keep checking until you find one that's near you and then you could figure it out and then go on Google Maps, see how big it is. And then if you can, if it's not too far, you should get And If you have, you know, if you have funds, get your own post office box at your local place, but then get one over here because this is where you want to register your uh, documents. You basically they give them to you right there. Did I make a video? Of course I did. I made a video on, on that specifically. I made a video on right here, 28 registering secured party creditor documents with United States Postal Service, video one. You basically, I was able to mail something with the person there, but I did purchase the PO box first and uh, fill out the green card receipt. She sent, the, she delivered me as a, as a postal office officer. She was an office, she's an officer of employee officer of the United States Postal Service. She physically mailed it to me in my hands. She did all the processing. She mailed it to me in my post office, but, but since she knew me personally, she handed me the package. You know, she made me sign the receipt properly. It's all in that video. And then she uh, asked me, do you want me to send a green card through the processing to get the ribbon? There's this little coat, like a computer ribbon that runs it through a processing machine. It's like yellow, like an orangey color. And I said, no, I'll just take it because the stamp was enough for me. You know, who's going to debate? But the, my proper documents, I'm probably going to do. This was just a test. So check that video out. And now let me check. Uh, let me see. I'm going to check. Quickly, give me one moment. Okay. So that's, I show you how to get the full roll of registered mail numbers. You can't get it on, on the, you can't order it. You can't, if you order it from the USPS site, they'll send you a roll of those stickers. You don't want that. Okay. Okay. Give me one moment. Cause I'm just reading through these comments here. So I'm doing this thorough video specifically to how to obtain the full roll of registered mail number stickers. And I told you about video 11. So you gotta basically find the largest post office branches near your lo location. All right, I got that. I'm still here. I mean, I could go through, um, you know, how the documents, if you have access to this drive here, if you have access to the master class folder, if not, then you would have to contact radiantclone at gmail.com. Uh, or go to his channel you, on YouTube. And so now just, uh, I wanna show where, This is where all the documents are. And where are the videos? Okay, these are where all the documents are. Let me just go here quick for a second. Let me go to the master class folder, PJP. Okay, so inside of this, this is all the ones that say four kilobytes are not like full videos. They're just like placeholders or something. So you go down, where is my, oh, here it is. You go down until the, you see now the digits start over here, right? So these are all of the videos for the secure party creditor. Now, also here, 
Okay, it's a different folder. Oops, no, that was the same folder. In this folder, which the, it's like this, this one comes first. You could see where I have videos published date. I'm not gonna, it's so slow and it's gonna mess me up, but, but you know, regarding these videos. So now you can go to the one, the video where by Karen right here. So you open up this video, I'm gonna do it right now. One moment. So basically, this video here goes through the whole process. It's a good video. It goes through everything. I have any, I mean, I know I, I watched the whole thing once over, but, but you know, like now I've been just focused on a one document, two documents, three documents, comparing, comparing the document, looking at the document, seeing exactly if it's the same one. Uh, that's inside the drive, and it is. Those are the exact same, the, the, uh, or very, very similar right here. In PJP, right here, and see, you can't open in another tab on this, on, on this drive. That's why I, I, I'm not a very big fan of Google Drive. So I have to open this up. Let me see if I have it stored somewhere. I do. Right here. That's why I did that. So I don't, okay. These are all the documents. So you could download them, you know, download the whole file, sift through them. If you don't like any of them, dispose of them, you know, just like delete the file. But this is what they go through in this video. If you look, PJP template, BC bond cover letter, Nugent. Then you go to here. PJP PC bond cover letter Mnuchin, the exact same thing, even with the spelling, PJP template, you know, spelled incorrectly, everything. <clears throat> Maybe it's spelled correctly. Let me see. Let me see if it's, oh, that's wrong. <clears throat> see, it's template. Let me, I want to make, I want to see, I want to spell it like that and see if, if somebody does spell it that way, because it's possible. Nope. You see template. He, yeah, you know what? They're pronouncing it the way it sounds, which is what we should, because if you look at this, this is template, a template, no a template. If we're going to say template, we should spell it like template. All right. So that's that. So let me, I'm going to pause this. I'm going to stop share. And I'm going to see, uh, I'm going to just pause recording from on my end. You won't see, a, you'll see a very short pause and I'll come back and see if there's anything I want to add to this. Let me just check my notes. Hold on. Pause. Okay. And then uh, what else I was going to go over was uh, these right here. So we went over these. See now, what you want to do is... Um, when, uh, let me see here. Uh, one second. Um, hola, uh, Michelle, hola, como esta? Yo soy una, una llamada. Ya te llamo en un ratito. Ah, okay. All right, what was I doing here? Come on, I was gonna show you. Uh, I have to open up a new case. I gotta open up a new window here, one moment.
Okay. So over here, oh, I forgot to take these out because I put Indiana Jones on everything. I guess I must've just forgot that one. On here at the bottom of your, uh, at the schedule A, right? When you, on your schedule A, you should see my mind is two pages long because what you're gonna do is on the, you know, private security agreement over here, I'm sharing, right? Okay, at schedule A, right? You're gonna do all these basic stuff, but over here, you're gonna put in every single one of these documents. Right? Right here, you know, uh, look, because I, I know them, I, know, I should know them by heart. Private security agreement, power of attorney general, legal notice and demand, UCC one, common law copyright notice, uh, hold harmless indemnity agreement, uh, non-negotiable, uh, non-negotiable bill of exchange, non-negotiable bill of exchange. This one was a private registered indemnity bond, 1040V, 1040ES, right? Uh, what is this? For set bond, private registered bond for cover letter for the private registered bond for set off. I do it exactly like the title is. Whatever the title is on the, on the top of the page, that's exactly what I put. Private security agreement, it's PSA. If it's, if it's, um, if it's uh, you know, cover letter for the private register bond for set off, that's exactly what I, that's the document ID number, right? And uh, here, let me see if, on the, if I, I didn't change this, I'm gonna show you how in other documents, I changed this whole thing up. I changed this whole thing up. I'll give you a little bit of a snippet of that. Let's see here. I know I saved them somewhere else. Oh, I did save them somewhere else. But basically th this right here, document ID number, you know, you do your whole thing here and then my registered mail number in conjunction with it. On the bottom, see, I did something different. Document, private security agreement, ID number right here. So what you're gonna do is what I did is because you have to add them on the private security agreement, because you have to add all your documents down here, you can't finish one document, which is pretty much what your first document should be either the private security agreement, right? Or the legal notice in name man. Now, both of those documents require you to put an itemized list of your property. So you want to have, I, I, I want to, you don't have to, but you want to have everything listed here your companies, everything. You could skip a lot of stuff and just say, you know what, let's just do the simple stuff and put it in. But, you know, if you're on it, you know, like I, I just couldn't in good, like in my work ethic, I couldn't, I wanna do this right and complete. So I added all this stuff in there. Let me, let me find that document and I'll show you. Okay, I made a new folder, that's why. Let me just review it. Yeah, because all my info is on here. Come on, that, the Zoom slows it down so much. And plus having all these windows open doesn't really help. It's so it's like slow, it gets annoying. Right here, I'm not even done. It's three pages, but it's not. 
my schedule a and look over here this is my master copy you know my master copy schedule a a look all i got six birth certificates i i'm gonna go back but i got all my documents legal notice in the man usps registered yeah. all in order right see i got them on the second page because i wanted them all on one page so basically this stuff here right exactly so you can't even finish one document without all assigning registered mail numbers to all your documents so therefore what i did was you see private security agreement i changed this up private security agreement usps registered mail document identification number this one is with power of attorney I did way back in Apache County, Arizona. I added it. You can have two, you can have three, you can have whatever you want. Uh, then this one is the one I'm I've, I'm doing now. It's registered, so it holds weight. I haven't registered this yet. Then you got your, your others, UC, UCC1, common law copyright, that's it. And then birth certificate, indemnity bond, 1040V, register them all, why not? Who, you know, who's gonna say you can't? Then you go with your driver's licenses and stuff. Uh, now I'm going to go over this. So you got that. And then what you do is you print, you could print the whole document or you could print just one page of every single document you're going to do at, in your first package and only do the top header, the top header, the footer and, and do the, uh, and do the area where I said, put the document ID number and stuff, you know, your registered mail number, you put it on here. You, you got to move this somewhere, wherever you want. And then you put it right in there, like I show you on, on this document. Right here. You see private non-negotiable. And then you put in these two lines. You put in these two lines on every one of the documents. Because otherwise you're going to be back and forth and making changes and you don't know and you have to be all organized. Otherwise, you are going to go insane. You are going to go insane. So all of these documents right here, they're not complete, but this is where I stopped off on that project that day. Each one of these here, let's zoom in. It's not that good, but you could see. You see, it's got the document ID number. We see it's red here. It's got the, you know, the registered mail number on the cover letter, everything private cover letter, private registered bond for settle. I'm registering every single document, even if it's a cover letter. This is gonna be all thorough. And this has got the same number on the headers. You got the private security bond. I'm not finished with it, but that's what, so this way at least you're like, okay, you know what? Today I'm gonna to work on this document or this week I'm gonna work on this document, complete it, done, done, done. I'm gonna read through it. I'm gonna check for typos. That is a big project, like, you know, yeah, uh, you know that's a big project just to get these two the the private security agreement and the power uh the i should say the illegal notice in demand those are long documents man you you have i've read through them numerous 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 times because i i love them i i get inspired i get motivated when i'm like ah you know what i mean it's like it's like justice <laughs> you know so all right that's that let's see what else do i have in here because i pretty much covered it um Oh, I have to zoom out. I went over this, went over this, went over this, 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 this. Oh, okay. This is important. Look at what I named this. Registered legal notice in demand, always on your person in a protective pouch. You get, this is like a computer pouch I got from Staples. I'm sure if you have a Staples, they'll have this. It's, it's expensive. It's like 35 bucks just for this pouch, but it's awesome because it's legal. You know, uh, it could fit legal in there, and then you could take this to the post office or something. Buy buy another one because this one does not leave your dashboard, which you'll see here. That's where it's gonna sit. If you want to get one, get one. Uh, uh, you know, the color to match your dashboard. You could do that, but black. It's it's easy on the eyes. It doesn't bother you. This is where this lives right now. It lives right here. The next thing that's gonna live right here is a uh, ticket book. You know, like a like a leather flip, flip top ticket book, just like, you know, like the meter maids, how they have that, um, you know, you can get it out of nylon or stuff. I'm going to I'm going to 
you know, make one out of printer. I'm going to do that now because when they come to your window, you know, uh, you know, you, I've already discussed this in other videos. I'm not going to go through it, but you know, it's like, uh, you know, do you have a fourth amendment warrant? All right, well, don't move. And, uh, you know, keep your hands where I can see them. Uh, don't make any sudden movements. I'm going to write you out a, new, uh, a series of violations now and, um, and don't flee the scene of a commercial transaction. Because, you know, if he if he's like, all right, yeah, have it. No, 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 it's too late now. It's too late. Don't move. Stay right there because you're fleeing the you're you're, you're uh, fleeing the location of a commercial transaction in progress. And I'm going to add that to my legal notice and demand because you're writing him out a ticket. I'll follow him. He chases you. You chase him but like, no, sir, I have a violation. Follow him down to the precinct. You know what I'm saying? And whatever you got to do. Because that's what they do to us. We're going to do the exact same thing. If it gets a little dicey and you know where the precinct is, drive slowly. Don't rush. Drive straight to the precinct. Park right in the precinct. And then uh, say, I'd like to speak to your, uh, you know, your commanding officer. Write them all out tickets. All out tickets. That's it. So anything else? So this one I named registered legal notice and demand on your dashboard. And then the last one is, you know, the legal notice in demand. You know, he comes up, you're like, well, sir, uh, you know, well, um, you know, you could even say I'm on official business in matters of American national uh, uh, security. So uh, you would be, I thought about the word, you would be, you're, um, you're interfering in official business in matters of American national security. There's another, uh, there's another term. Let me give me a moment. I can think of it quickly. You're obstructing. They're obstructing justice. You're obstructing an invest. You're obstructing official business in matters of American national security. Um, uh, so I need you to stand right there and uh, show me some identification. Um, and uh, I need, you know, in other words, show me identification uh, with enough time for me to uh, inspect it, uh, inspect it thoroughly. So have them hold it up. Don't move. Keep it right there. You get all their information. I'm slow. I got to reach for my glasses. You know what I mean? You know, um, and then, you know, you write them out of violation, write them out of violation. That's it. This has got to be on your person. Keep it right in this yellow manila envelope. Um, you know, so it looks official. You know, this is a, a this is a uh, official registered national document. You don't want to say government because that's more United States corporation. But you, you I have to stop that too. So it, uh, this is an official registered. If it's copy if at the moment, if it's copywritten and trademarked, you could say that too. If it's filed, you could say that too. You have to get your own lingo. Okay, this is an official registered national document, which I carry on official business and matters of American national security filed with the, uh, uh, filed with the uh, uh, county clerk of your county, Suffolk County, Long Island, New York, this document was served upon your um, boss at your precinct, wherever you live at that precinct, you have to register mail it to them. So you have to serve them, get a, a bold, um, what do they call those? The notary public that does process serving or get a process server. You process serve this to, the, to, to your local precinct and get all documentation. So this way, when he comes to the window, you're like, well, this was served to your boss, to your office on, and you have that on the back of this right here, you write it down in hand, you stick it right to it. You know, you stick the, uh, well, well, my records indicate that your boss has been served this document. So um, you're being ignorant to the law. So that's another, I'm gonna have to write you out of violation. Um, you know, violation of, uh, you know, uh, whatever, like you feel, I don't know, all the, you know, all, everything that's on the legal notice and demand by heart, you know, but sometimes I do. I sometimes, uh, certain areas I do, certain areas I don't. I can't remember what, what, what violation that is, but you're like, oh, I'm going to write you out of violation. All right. 
I think that's it. That sums it up. Because, I mean, I'm really making this video about the uh, role of registered mail numbers, but it led to this. So, you know, give me a moment. Let me pause this and see if there's, I'm going to check all my windows, right, that I have and see if there's anything I can add. So let me stop share for a second. Let me pause this. No, nope, I covered uh, I covered everything. Yeah, I mean, you know, I covered this, how you search for, you know, you know, you, you search for your, uh, uh, the biggest post office near you. Okay, and then I went through all of these. Um, you know, I went through these documents a little bit. I went through Karen's videos. This is what I follow. See, secured party credit instructions by Karen. Um, there's really nothing to go over here. Um, that's it. All right, I'm going to end this video. I hope it was helpful, and I will see everybody in the, on the meeting tonight, uh, Sunday, September 5th, 2021. Stop share and end recording. All right, bye for now. Recording. Stop recording.